I sold you away the garlic seeds. Okay. So I think there's loads. And so which were the why, so the plants have gone? They've all died, I slid oh, in, in the flowers, they yeah, just yeah. drop back off the seeds. And you were saying that what you're gonna do with these is you're gonna dry we'll, them? We'll dry them out yeah. on a dehydrator and then make a powder. So then like a seasoning yeah. for like our yeah. meats and all that. So you there. just like rub it on the meat when you're just cooking and that's that. it. Oh, it just it smells amazing like what oh, it is. So yeah, we'll get one of the young commies to come out and pick, pick all the seeds. <laughs> so uh, I'll take stuff. We'll go up to you. Just it's really mucky, so this this here leaf here, this is um this is chickweed. Oh, it is. This is a chickweed flower. Oh, it is what you're using our salads and all, to garnish our salads up. So we do. And does it have a flavour of its own? Does it have a sort of It's quite a mild flavour, so it is it's not um just like a like a like a lettuce sort of flavour of okay. it. So I can't even smell anything yeah. in my hands with the wild garlic. Do you use the flowers as well? Or? Use the flowers as well, yeah. So we do. Um, the chickweed, so... Just little crisp sort of green. That just, that just enhances the dish as well, like, so it does. It's, um, it's got a wee earthy taste yeah. to it as well. Aye, but like, but like a sorrel sort of mm. flavour. It is. Yeah. That's right, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's loads of it. Um, right, we can see. It's everywhere. It's there's the all around there as well. So. It's always good. I mean, the ground's quite boggy. Is it? Yeah. It's growing kind of boggy ground. Boggy, aye, sort of like wet, boggy ground. It'll grow in. So it will. Um, see, it's wild strawberries. Just, we came across them a couple of days ago. There, there you go, there. There's some wild strawberries. The size of them. Some more. It's like there's loads about, you can see them all scattered everywhere and there's some We're in there, over in there, along Sweet Sicily. Are they, as, are they as sweet as cultivated ones or are they a bit more? They'd be a bit more tart on it, so they are. Eh? Um, see there's not a wee put lot over there, so I'll pick, I'll pick a couple, and just for the, the, the dish. A lot as well, a lot of people use underripe ones when they're white and use them to go along with scallops. Oh, okay. Because when they're quite they're quite tart. Yeah. And they work along with the, the sweetness of the scallops, yeah, yeah, So I um so yeah, so I'm gonna pick some of these and I'll pick they're lovely, yeah. Just like a wee sponge. Yeah. And they are. They look almost like light cheese when you see them like this. They do actually, yeah. So they do. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. So there's more like there's wee bushes around everywhere, it's starting to come now. This because the bad weather, well, the weather we had hasn't been that great at the minute. So there's more there as well. They're well hidden. So they are. So see, I'll pick some of them. I remember working on the berries as a kid up in Perthshire. I eat more than you pick. <laughs> Use so some of this. Sweet Sicily. Sweet Sicily, yeah. And what uh, do you so you'd use that as a garnish? Just use it as a wee garnish, yeah, with flowers. So we do. And then like if we're making like a like a sweet Sicily, like a like a syrup or something like that there, put it into it and infuse it in the stock syrup. Yeah, yeah. And then just drizzle it around the plate. So we oh, just do. put it in for what a couple of days or yeah, just add like that. I just add infuse a couple of days. So we do. Um you can use the leaves as well, so you can but um so we just it's just really Flory, really like yeah. perfumey sort of. Yeah. Mm. It's like yeah, it's like eating. Yeah, obviously, we are eating flowers, but it's, yeah. Yeah, it's got it's yeah. quite aromatic and it's, it's got a little bit of crunch to crunch it. Crunch to it as well. Yeah. Wee earthiness as yeah. well, a little bit. Um, there's a few like ink cap mushrooms as well, but as you drive in the drive, you can see them on the right hand, the, the left hand side, like tall ones. Oh, the white. shaggy. Aye, yeah, they're yeah. they're ink caps, so they're soft. They're called um shaggy ink cap. So they really saw like the black ink out of them. Oh, okay. So you can use it. You can use the ink from them to like color past and all as well. So you can. So, there's more of the chickweed as well. Sorry. There. So, um, and do you so, say you use dandelion leaves as well? Use dandelion leaves as well. Um, so there's no dandelions out at the minute. <laughs> there's not. But see, so yeah, dandelion leaves. Um, hogweed as well. We use a hogweed. 
So, um, but it's, it's not really in season yet at the minute. And then we'll use like the the slowberry as well. So all this like like a like a slowberry syrup or it, it, it infused stuff as well. You use that with game as well. I guess, aye, like aye, like venison and usually really comes like towards the end of August sort of the game season starts to go well, the glorious twelfth and then after everything else just more or less crops up after that which is great. It's quite nice the way that they also all the stuff that goes together tends to arrive at together. At the same time, yeah, it's brilliant, it's amazing. But it's,